see that the first item is 13906. We can go back to the page and validate that. We do see that, but now it's giving me everything else. So what I need to do is cut it off after the space that's after the six and char 13, which is just a line feed. So let me go on and do that. I do that in the next line. The next line we still use MID. Starting position one, ending position, we look for character 13. And then remember what I said that after the item number there's a space. So I actually subtract two instead of one. So we look for character 13, which is just the line feed and going to the next line, minus two. And this, and this is now going to give us the item number. So I'm gonna do exit sub after the message box. So you can see that if I hit enter data, let the page load. I see that now I have the first item number 13906 and something that I do you'll as you can see right now in my code I do a message box and I put a period and then I put the variable and then another period the only reason why I do this personally is just to make sure that I parse the item number correctly without any kind of spaces or dashes or anything extra in it and then the very next thing that I do is our original variable the data I remove the item number that we just collected and I do that by giving the starting position this is going to be the starting position I'm explain to you what I'm doing I'm looking for I'm looking in the data variable I'm looking for item number that being the string and then I do plus the length of the item number so all I'm doing is I'm looking for the item number and then I'm subtracting, I'm putting the starting position as an additional however many characters the item number is. That gives me the starting position. This ensures that the item number is removed from the data. So that way now what you can do is create a do loop. And that's what I had originally set up. A do loop that says loop until INSTR, the data, item number is equal to zero. So this is just going to execute over and over and over until we have all of the item numbers. So let me hit F5 so I can show you what this does. I'm going to hit enter data, click my form, and it's going to message box right now all the item numbers. You see them all change out. There's a total of 19, so I'm just going to hit OK. But that's really it. That's just parsing the data. And in the next video, I'm just going to show how you can output this data to a worksheet.